So like I mentioned in my video, this is the 2005 Piaggio Typhoon 50cc 2 stroke. Um, it is using the Hyper 2 engine that is made by the Piaggio group. So if you have an Italian scooter, 50cc scooter that was made anywhere between probably 2000, year 2000 to year 2008, chances are you do have the same engine. Uh, no matter what brand, Vespa, um, Piaggio, Gilera, Aprilia, and what else? Um, this engine comes in two formats, I think. One is the liquid cooled, and the other one is the air cooled, which is the one you see in front of you. So, um, the thing with these scooters' engines, the Hyper 2 engines, is they are equipped with a 17.5 millimeter. Um, slide carburetor and um, one of the restrictions that you will find is a brass plate that covers basically the entire opening of the carburetor inlet this prevents any air from getting in and some people think it improves um, overall performance that may be true just because slide carbs are usually quite temperamental to temperature changes and basically everything but if you're if you want to tune your scooter if you want to restrict your scooter this is one of the areas where you must definitely open up reject your carb and uh, in doing so gain more horsepower the other two restrictions usually found in European bikes are um, A restrictor in your variator which limits your gearing to 30 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour that one is not found in North American Piaggio Typhoons um, the other one is a exhaust restriction that is also not found in this bike when tuning your carburetor you always want it to be warm I suggest starting off with uh, tuning the idle first after which you want to tune the mid-range and finally change your main jet. So once you have removed all the screws fastening the air box down onto the um, engine, the whole air box assembly should come right off with a little wiggling. Make sure nothing is being held on. If you don't have to, just move your air box to the side. You don't have to take it out all the way. You can see the snorkel came off already. And that is the brass restrictor I was talking about. You can see there's only five holes that really let air in. And all the other one and if you open this up, if you just take it out like that, it should improve performance by quite a bit. So now um with your entire setup removed uh, with the restrictor removed you will need to do a little jetting that involves taking this carburetor out and doing a little bit of tuning so right now I'm going to drain I'm going to drain the carburetor float bowl and put in a 62 main jet usually it's recommended that you put in something higher a higher main jet, especially for two-stroke scooters, you will want to put in a higher main jet just to uh, prevent the scooter from running lean. Running lean could cause the piston to seize because you won't have enough, you don't have the proper lubrication. So to drain the carp bowl, there's a bowl right here. All you do is just turn it. So there you go, that is the float bow exposed.
set that aside somewhere safe. Try not to get any dust in it. Most people suggest use it starting off with a 63 main jet. Um, I have a 62 main jet right here. And we'll give that a try. If you're running an open filter or no filter at all for race application, you probably need even more fuel. But I'll give this a try first. So just snug is good. Do not over tighten it because these are brass jets and they will get crushed if you go too tight on them. The one that was uh, stock on the bike wasn't that tight in the first place. So just snug is fine. Should be good. So with the main jet installed now, you can go ahead and put your float bowl back on. <laughs> 